Brooklyn Independent Television. Reportage is, um, it's a French word. It means, you know, reporting, to go out and report on something. And in its most uh, sort of general form, it's an overall analysis of a situation, of a place, of an event through drawing. It's basically going on location, going out and drawing the world, what's going on in the world. Yeah, I would say I'm a romantic, I'm an expressionist, uh, but you know, depending on the situation, I, I can be more uh, of a documentarian. It really depends on the situation. I try to be an artist who finds the graphics and the approach that applies to the situation. Sometimes things happen more that are more planned and other times they just occur and it's very spontaneous. And so you have to say, okay, wait, now how do I cover this and how do I talk about this? You just get there and then you have to go, you know, what's happening, you have to deal with it. And you do find, you also find your way, you know, like you don't really have time, you just, you gotta draw this thing. I love to draw parades, I love to draw, you know, uh, Anything that's fast, that goes by quickly, because it really, I guess that's maybe my biggest thing, is I like motion. Things that move and go quickly and go by. I love teaching. I teach at Pratt and Parsons and at Del Vero Academy. When I'm drawing a lot, I start to see the world differently, because I see drawing. I look around and I go, oh. You know, and I'm like following the drawing as I'm doing it. It makes me more involved in the world because I, I want to know what's going on because I want to be there. If something's happening, I want to be part of it. It makes me more curious. It makes me more um, engaged. On September 11th, um, I actually was going downtown uh, to meet my friend. And I just, you know, as I was getting ready to leave, I heard something on the news about a plane hitting the Trade Center, but, you know, in my, the back of my mind I thought, well, it's probably some guy, you know, in a little plane who screwed up and, oh my God, that's terrible. You know, but I didn't, and then I just left. And then when I got downtown, um, I got off the train at Union Square and it was like bedlam. People were running all over the place. So I ran to, to Parsons and, you know, I just sort of took my pad out and I started drawing because we, I mean, I could see it. I looked down, down Fifth Avenue and Actually, the one tower had already fallen while I was in the subway. I didn't really think about it in terms of, gee, I guess I should draw this because it's important. It was just more instinctive, you know? And um, so I just sort of kept drawing and walking. And I think in a way, it helped me to process what was going on. I started drawing the people around me. People were crying, people were hugging each other. Um, and I just was like, walking and drawing and walking and drawing. I, I remember I was standing right below Washington Square Park and I was drawing the second tower when it fell. And that was like unbelievable because I was, at, literally I was drawing the line and it, and it bent and, and the tower fell. And this woman, I have like this woman that I was drawing then she turned and she screamed and so I drew that and I just, I, I don't know, I mean it was very, um, I mean I was crying too but I think you know, sometimes when you have, you're doing something, it helps you get through whatever is going on. 9-11 has been talked about, obviously, so much, and we've all seen those images over and over. I think that a reportage artist, even more so than a photographer, right, someone who's illustrating, doing reportage, you have to be present. You can't just grab it and go because you have to make the drawings. So you become involved in a way that maybe other people don't become involved and you capture those kind of moments. And those kind of moments are important because I think they, they really bring the humanity to a situation like that. You've got to look at your subject. As soon as you look down at the paper, you're starting to get into this idea of what the drawing should be and you're not experiencing it. And drawing is an experience. That's the first and foremost thing it is. And it's very spontaneous and it's very much in the moment. And if you look at your paper, you miss it. Say drawing a crowd of people. There's, there's a design to a crowd, so it isn't so much 
you've got to freeze each individual person to draw them. It's more that you draw the entire scene and the entire crowd or the entire picture. It's, it's, a, more, um, it's a more holistic way to draw it. You know, sometimes people will say, where do you start a drawing? And for me, there's no real answer to that because it just evolves. So I start wherever I start and then one thing leads to another and it's more organic. I love illustration, I love Repertage. Uh, I'm really excited about some of the projects that Repertage is leading me to. I think that Dalvero could grow because you know the students who are in that school are young but they're professionals so I think that that can grow as well and become like this kind of movement of, of art based on Repertage, which is where the name of the school comes from. It's Italian and it's uh, Dalvero is from the truth. So the idea is it's from the truth, it's from life, and it's not only, you know, from the truth in terms of going out and drawing and being involved with what's there, but it's also an honesty in yourself. So, you know, for the future, I just want to keep working and, and I'm kind of excited to see where it takes me. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV.